Hi there guys, Ralph here with 4K Equipment. Today I've got another comparison video for you between Trimble, Topcon, and Leica's construction layout equipment, uh, specifically GPS based. Uh, so real quick I'll go over what we have here in front of us for each one, um, the software options and or differences, communication types, power, that kind of thing. Over here on the left for Leica, we have an ICG-60 base station, an ICG-70 receiver there on the right, base station on the left. And here in the middle, we have a CC-80 7-inch tablet that goes with both of those. Here in the middle, we have Trimble. Uh, for that base station here, we've got an SPS-855. Um, for that antenna, we have a Zephyr Geodetic Model 3 GPS antenna there. And then we've got an SPS 986 Rover receiver with a TSC-5 data collector. And then for Topcon, over here on the right, uh, this is basically their Hyper Series. We have a VR base station there on the left, and then a Hyper VR Rover on the right with an FC-6000 tablet. All right, now as far as software is concerned, uh, with Leica, we have an Icon Build or Site for that tablet there. With Trimble, we have SCS 900 or SiteWorks. And then for the Topcon series, we have Topcon Pocket 3D. Uh, mainly this is for construction layout, which is the equipment that we focus on here at 4K Equipment. And then uh, for the different types of communication, uh, basically the different frequency ranges for Leica, you have either 450 to 470 megahertz or 900 megahertz, depends which uh, radio is installed in each of those receivers right there and then for trimble we have 900 megahertz in the usa or 450 to 470 megahertz internationally and then for topcon we've got what's called digital uhf2 which is 450 to 470 megahertz and then we also have the 915 megahertz which is also known as spread spectrum one point of comparison between these three is the way that uh, power is handled on site, whether they have removable batteries or they're all internally charged, uh, allowing you just to bring extra batteries to the site and pop them in for the receivers. We'll start over here on the left uh, with the Trimble series. We do have removable batteries on both the base and the rover there, um, with the base and or rover also being able to be plugged into an external 12 volt battery source. Over here for Trimble, we have an internal uh, non-removable battery on the SPS 855 base station here. It has about an eight hour runtime, give or take, depending on how you're using it. And then there is an external battery on that SPS 986 up there. Um, base and Rover both have plugs for external 12 volt if that's available on your site. And then over here for the Topcon side, we've got internal batteries on both these hyper vrs here and they run about seven hours depending on the conditions they're running in the temperature and that kind of thing and the base and rover both also have power plugs for external 12 volt um, if that's available to you on your site there uh, for weight comparison between the three uh, depends on how hard it is to carry around on site over here on the left we'll start with Leica again uh, the base weighs about four pounds and the rover weighs about three pounds and then the tablet is about 1.4 pounds, somewhere around there. For the Trimble series, the base weighs 6.7 pounds, while the Rover weighs 3.5 pounds, and then the tablet is 2.2 pounds. And then the Topcon series over here, the base and Rover are both 2.5 pounds, and then the tablet's 2 pounds. A question we get quite frequently is whether Tilt is available for any of these three uh, softwares and hardwares. Um, basically, Tilt is a purchasable option on all three, but uh, with Leica and Trimble, uh, the Tilt function in the receivers themselves is an IMU sensor, while the Topcons is a magnetic or compass sensor. Basically, it just means that the Leica and Trimbles are a little bit better at Tilt, uh, especially when close to metal buildings. 
but uh, they are available for all three. A few things all three kits uh, have the same here is satellite capability and accuracy. Uh, as far as accuracy goes, these are all GPS receivers, which gives you an accuracy within a half inch. Um, that's kind of subjective based on whether you can see the skyline, basically your sight conditions in general. Uh, sometimes it can get a little more accurate than that. Um, as far as satellite capability, um, GPS here in the USA and GLONASS, the Russian satellites, are the standard for all of them. Um, all of these also have the optionable upgrades to Galileo, which is the European satellites, QZSS, which is the Japanese satellites, and the Beidou Chinese uh, satellite add-ons for each of these. And that basically concludes all the hardware, uh, the major hardware differences between them. Um, obviously the tablets, what you interface with the most, so it's going to be the biggest difference there. Um, that and the software that's on that tablet. However, if we were to, here at 4K Equipment, basically give like general advantages to each of the brands, Tremble, Topcon, Leica. Um, for Leica, we would give the advantage to the software. Um, Leica's icon is extremely beginner friendly and it's advanced enough to create your own points on site and then add them into the job file very well, um, just like Tremble and Topcon can, but it's just not as user friendly. Um, as a subjective opinion there. Uh, Trimble, basically the best hardware. Um, you're gonna find that it's much more expensive in general, but uh, just the quality of hardware there is gonna be top tier. And then for the Topcon series, um, it's extremely lightweight, those Hyper VRs right here, and the pricing is gonna be a little bit less. Um, also with the software, it works really well with a lot of different file types unlike Trimble and Leica can sometimes. So that would be the advantage to Topcon there. Well, there you have it. There are the hardware differences between Trimble, Topcon, Leica's top of the line uh, GPS construction layout kits there. Um, if you guys are interested, I can go more in depth about each one's actual data collector, tablets, the software themselves. Um, it's also very subjective about uh, basically which one would be right for you. Um, there are plenty of people that are diehard Trimble, diehard Topcon, and diehard Leica fans. Um, understandably so, they all are very powerful and can do uh, whatever it takes to speed up that laying out on your site. Turn that into a very short term thing for you, save you time and money. So uh, yeah, just let me know if uh, you guys are interested. I can go over those more in detail. And yeah, thanks for watching.